Well, hey there, folks, and welcome to the BRO Reloading Bench. Um, I know a lot of you have already seen the video where Captain Buster um, was still hunting the other day and shot a really nice, big, fat doe at one of the new properties up near Watery Lake that we have the gracious permission of the landowners to hunt. Up there, he took this doe with one of my reloads at 50 yards, a 12 pellet, 12 pellet double alt, uh, nickel plated from Ballistic Products. Well, uh, a lot of people ask or are really confused about the lead payload weight thing. Let's just focus on double alt buckshot here for just a few minutes. A lot of folks are just relying on the buckshot reload data. Uh, let's just take one of the many sizes that are out there available now, and that's the very popular 33 caliber double alt buck. Uh, uh, there's a lot of load data out there that, that gives you just, for example, I'm going to just pull this out of the air, uh, two and three quarter inch reload um, using nine pellets of double alt buck using a two and three quarter inch brand new Fiocchi Hull X12X Seal FC12 Fiber Cushion Wad 9 pellets of double alt buck. Very common hunting, home defense, whatever type load. Powder measure is irrelevant at this point uh, because there's just so many different combinations you can use. We're just using this as an example. Well, uh, how many, what is the difference in all your different types of double alt buck. Double alt buck is double alt buck, right? Well, hang on just a minute and watch this little segment right quick. Okay, I got this little digital scale off of eBay for probably about 20 bucks. It's been several years ago, but you can still see them all over for anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. If you want to make sure your little scale is accurate, I've got a 10 gram and a 50 gram test weight that came with my Hornady lock and load powder dispenser. So I set the scale on, uh, on grams and we set our test weights in there just to make sure everything is kosher good. We're right on the money. So we know that we are good with those numbers. This is the Ballistic Products Nickel Plated Double Alt Buck. Now, the point that I'm making with all of this is to just because it says it's double alt buck these are a few things you need to check guys uh, checking the diameter of these nickel plated pellets you see that they are closer to 34 caliber than they are to 33 caliber I checked I have actually checked probably close to a hundred pellets they will vary in size from 33 and a half all the way to 34.1, I think was the biggest I got, was just over 34 caliber. But you're going to see just about every one of these, at least the batch that I got. Uh, I got like 11 pounds of these, and they vary from 33 and a half up to over 34 caliber. Now, let's weigh these things. I'm going to drop nine in here, which would be a typical two and three quarter inch standard load and we got 1.21 ounces. We're going to add up three more pellets to get 12 to be a two and three quarter inch mag size load or an extended range three inch, 161. And we're going to drop the next three in here to make a full 15 pellet. Look at that. We are at a full two ounces. Now let's just move right on to another ballistic products uh, product, the Double Alt Super Buck. You see, the, uh, I, I had a picture up there. Let's drop nine pellets of the Double Alt Super Buck from Ballistic Products in here and see what kind of weight we get. Actually, just over one ounce with nine, 12 pellets, under one and a half ounces, and a full 15 that would be in a three inch load, just under 1.8 ounces of lead payload weight. Same company. Same buckshot listing as a double alt, but you can see that's a pretty big difference between the two. Let's check the diameter of the uh, of this double alt super buck here. There's one this this uh, 32 and a half is just under 33 caliber. 
Now, I'm just going to check a bunch of them right here and just see what we come up with. 32 and a half. 32.3. 32.8. And then let's move right on to some Hornady double alt. This is their Hornady hard cast double alt. Now, with this buckshot, folks, I don't think I ever got a pellet over 0 0.32. 0 0.318, 0 0.317, and what you're seeing is going to be pretty much consistent with what with the results that I get measuring out the Hornady double alt. Okay, let's see how much the horny to buckshot weighs. Eight, nine, just over one ounce. Then 12 for a two and three quarter inch mag type load, under 1.4. Go to a full 15 pellets, which would be a full three inch magnum load, 1.7 ounces of lead payload weight. The next ones we're going to check are my hard cast out of the Lee mold. These are just coated in, uh, in Alox, and Lee Alox grease is what they're coated in. Let's check nine pellets here. Got 1.1 ounces with nine pellets. Twelve, just right about one and a half ounces. And 15 is 184. You see, that's a pretty big swing. So it's important, you know, because we're going by lead payload weight with most of our reloads. And you can see that this is a true 33 caliber out of the Lee Double Alt mold. These are compression dents. This is the only pellet Captain Buster was able to recover from that doe he killed the other day. And you see the two compression dents from where this thing accelerated about 10,000 Gs. It struck a rib bone on the opposite side, and that's what caught it in the hide. The other nine passed completely through. These pellets were pulled from the three point that Captain Buster killed last day, last season. These were all from my cast reloads. Let's pull a few of these out and look at them. Ballistic products, nickel plated. They cut it's their, their 33 cal double all, but it actually is closer to 34 caliber. Now these are all of my hard cast water dropped 32 caliber single all that Captain Buster uh, shot. This was uh, all three shots that he used on this buck were all 32 caliber single off. It's one of his favorite rounds to shoot. You see that the powder coating, the Harbor Freight Red, held up really nicely. But you can see the compression dimple on these. Come on, focus for me, baby. The compression dimples on these are almost non-existent, folks. See that compression dimple right there as compared to this one, that means the alloy that Ballistic Products uses here is pretty good bit softer than my water dropped of uh, wheel weight alloy that I use to make my buckshot. The, this stuff stays rounder. Now, of course, this one, you can see it struck bone. But these pellets are still almost pristine perfect. You could drop them right back in another round. See the compression dimples here? Almost non-existent. As you can see, the uh, just because the box says double alt buckshot, 33 caliber, double alt buckshot, 
does not mean that that's what it is. It can be it can be anywhere from 31 and a half to 34 caliber just with the buckshot that I demonstrated in that video segment that you just watched. Okay, anyway, back to that round that Captain Buster smacked that big old doe with uh, the other day was a 12 pellet, the nickel plated ballistic products double alt buck, which you saw mic'd out closer to 34 caliber than it did to 33 and was a good bit heavier than a lot of the other buckshot alloys. So anyway, but we're using that to our advantage. We're only putting together a 12 pellet extended range uh, load, old school type load. I've been loading for years using 12 pellets instead of 14. But when you're talking 34 caliber, uh, you talk, that's a heavy hit and load, especially getting out there 12, 1300 foot per second. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I put them together here, and then I'm gonna take you down to the range and show you how they performed at the range. Okay, our best performers that we got down there at the range, I'm gonna put those together for you here right quick. Um, we got 800X and the uh, Hornady lock and load here, and we need 28 grains. 280 to get past our decimal. We're going to hit enter. That locks it in, and then we're going to going to dispense it. Usually, this big flake powder dispenses really well without me having to adjust the speed. Let's see what happens. charged it. I bet I didn't really see it, but big old, big old honk must have fell out. All right, let's hit enter and let's see what we actually got. Well, once it settled down, it's not an overcharge. That's 28.1 is an acceptable charge. It actually was not an overcharge. There's no wind stirring around in here or anything else, but that's, that happens. 28.1 is well within specs, so I'm going to go ahead and use that charge. We, uh, We also we used a once fired Remington Nitro Hull Winchester Winchester Western primer installed. Twenty eight grains of eight hundred X. Double A twelve red wide or the Clay Buster CB eleven thirty eight is the part number that you'll want to enter at Ballistic Products, CB1138, is the Clay Buster copy of the old AA-12 Red Wide. And we're going to grab 12 of these nickel-plated double alt from Ballistic Products that uh, actually came out more towards 34 caliber than 33 cal. And we're going to stack 12 of these in here by twos. And they stack in there right up to the base of the crimp. And we're going to cover it in BP Original. That's the buffer in the blue can. And I think I'm just using the what's working best for me. I ain't got my regular glasses on. Looks like the 3.1 Lee Dipper, 3.1 CC Lee Dipper. That's what I use. It's perfect for this load right here to cover it in the buffer. All right. Let's get it crimped up. Beautiful round. Hit it with a little uh, Miracle Nail, your dollar store nail hardener. We uh, put a daub of that 
here on the top of that crimp, it dries almost instantly and it keeps the buffer from coming out of your ram. Brand new Fiocchi hull, 3 inch hull ballistic products works just as good. 3 inch Chidite, brand new Chidite hull from ballistic products works equally well with this combination, this load that I showed you right here. Okay, once fired, Remington Nitro Hull Winchester Western Primer, 28 grains of 800X. This has got the AA12 red wide, or the it's got the Clay Buster equivalent. And we have 12 pellets of the double alt and a half, 34 caliber nickel plated uh, shot. This is an old style reload here with a bigger pellet. All right, here we go. Twelve sixty four. Excellent. Can definitely be loaded again. Sometimes you just can't beat old school stuff. Just, yeah. You just can't beat it. And these are bigger. These are 34 caliber pellets. These are between a double alt and a triple alt. The 34. Yes. 33 caliber. Most double alts are 32 and a half now. They're not even a full 33. Well, these may. I might uh, put the mic on these, and these are 34 caliber. These big nickel plated double alt and a half from Ballista Products. Look at what a pattern out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 of 12, 34 caliber pellets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's a double hit right there. That's two of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And uh, wow. Yeah, that's two pellets right there. That's a great pattern. Yeah, that is an awesome pattern right there. That'd definitely be a go right there. I bet you Benelli would like that one. He yeah, always did like that one. All righty, folks. Saw how good that old school load did. Well, this is a standard factory type load. We got 15 pellets in here, 28 of long shot BP Obturator 12 gas seal, and the half of a. Uh, no, uh, it's not half. It is a full. Yeah, 28 of long shot Obturator 12 seal FX 12 which is half waxed um, of your fiber wide, half inch, 15 34 cal pellets, nickel plated 34 cal pellets in here, covered in Ballistic Products original buffer. All right, here we go. Eleven thirty-six. Boy, flat kicked that one way out there, didn't it? I that. <laughs> Looks like that paper jumped pretty good, too. Holy cow. There is nowhere in this paper, if the animal was anywhere in here, that's 34 caliber pellets, and that's another, that's two hits right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 of 15, 11 34 caliber pellets. And look at that right across the center of the paper right here. From side to side, consistent. That is a great pattern with pellets that big. That's awesome. I'd say that'd be a, definitely a go right there. Wow, holy cow. That's a good one. Folks, you can actually see the uh, the Clay Buster, which is the old Winchester Western Red equivalent. I'll post a number right here. We got 27 800X and a brand new Chidite primed hull. 27 800X. It's got the AA12 or the um, Clay Buster equivalent. 12 of these big 34 caliber pellets in here, nickel plated pell pellets and ballistic products, covered in original buffer. We're going to shoot it out of the 870 with a 26 inch barrel. Now it is. Now it is. All right. So is it just about patterns anything? All right, y'all ready? 
1247. Okay, this all looks great. Can be definitely loaded again. Doing a little right, but I mean, when I'm talking a little right, we're at 54 yards, so we're at 50 meters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of 12. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 34 caliber that I can cover with my hand. Eight, depending on how I rotate it right there. I think that's eight pellets here. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight 34 caliber pellets in a nine inch circle right there. That is quite satisfying. <laughs> okay, folks, hope you all enjoyed the video. It goes to show you that not all double alt buck is created equal. And, but even when they're not created equal, just by going by lead payload weight, we can make our adjustments on powder a lot easier than we can just by going by buckshot data on pellet size. Lead payload weight is way more important, whether it is number nine shot or whether it's quad, buckshot, or slugs. Lead payload weight is what is most important. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. This is Wade Rush, host of the Bubble Roundtree Outdoors channel, and we'll be back with lots more very soon. Bye-bye.